Hey guys, we're here in EF, in Berlin at IFA 2013 where Samsung has just announced the new Galaxy Note 3 and their first smartwatch, the new Samsung Galaxy Gear. We've heard a lot about smartwatches, but this Galaxy Gear is actually quite different and we're going to show you why. The Galaxy Gear comes with a range of features including Galaxy Gear apps and it's essentially designed to work directly with your Galaxy smartphone. How so? Well, if, you, if we go show here, you can see your phone call logs. And from here, all I've got to do is press dial, and it's now calling. So the Galaxy Gear works from swipes, from left to right. To the left, we have the logs. Next up is your contact list, synced to your Galaxy Note 3 smartphone. And then the main screen, which shows you the time and the weather, as well as the last time your weather was updated. Moving on, we've got notifications. So if you have any notifications on your Galaxy Note 3 smartphone, you can actually view them on the Galaxy Gear as well, all from your wrist without having to ever pick up your phone out of your pocket. And we've got voice memos for those moments where you just want to make a very quick note of something but you don't want to pull out your big phone from your pocket. So as you can see, we've actually got S Voice on the Galaxy Gear smartwatch. Now the good thing about S Voice is it gives you access to information, it's your personal assistant just via voice, using your voice. So if we go into S Voice, what time is it in Berlin? Local time in Berlin is 22.16. And as you can see, it tells us the time in Berlin, just where we are today. It's, it works just like S Voice does on any other Samsung Galaxy smartphone. If we move along, we now have the gallery showing you the photos that were on the device itself on your Galaxy Note 3 smartphone. We swipe to the top and we've suddenly got all of them there. Again, all synced to your smartphone without having to actually pull it out of your pocket. Moving on, we've actually got the media controller, which is great if you want to control the, your music from your f watch without having to actually pull your phone out of your pocket again. And next up is a pedometer. If you are someone who's very much into your fitness, the pedometer syncs up with S Health, which allows you to track your calorie loss, number of steps taken and distance traveled, amongst other things. We've obviously got the settings for the Galaxy Gear allows you to change everything from your clock, sound, volume, display, Bluetooth, privacy lock, and to obviously reset it. And last up is gear apps, such as Banjo, your camera, a tumor for watch, Samsung chat on, you've got your dialer, find my device, your contacts, gallery, golf navi demo, live 360, glimpse, line, logs, media controller, and everyone's favorite, My Fitness Pal, Path, Pedometer, Pocket, and Runkeeper, Runtastic, S Voice, Schedule, and Settings, Stopwatch, Timer, Tripit, and Vivino, Voice Memo, Weather, and a couple of others we don't know. Let's just bring you back to Pocket, something that we actually came across earlier today. Shortly after Samsung announced the Galaxy Gear smartwatch, Pocket announced they were going to be the first to support the Galaxy Gear with their Pocket Listen service. This allows you, using text-to-speech technology, to listen on the go using your Galaxy Gear smartphone to anything that's in your Pocket List. So then from there, you do not need to read it, you can listen to it whilst you're on the move, and you can decide if it's worthy of checking out afterwards. As you can see, the Galaxy Gear has an interesting design. It's going to be available in six colours in total see here everything from white well this is actually golden white yellow orange gray white and black and sits on the hand clasps up like that there's a camera there and the front features a 1.63 inch 320 by 320 pixel super AMOLED display 